Box turtles are native to the United States from Maine to Florida and south into eastern Mexico. They are found across the eastern two-thirds of the U.S. and as far west as the front range of the Rocky Mountains. But all turtles across North America could use your help. Loss of habitat, road mortality, and the spread of new diseases are all taking their toll on turtles. Today, I'm going to teach you how to build a hibernation site to help your neighborhood box turtles survive the winter. Aquatic turtles, such as snapping turtles, painted turtles, and sliders, all usually hibernate in the mud at the bottom of ponds, lakes, and rivers. Box turtles, however, hibernate on land. So if you have a yard, even in an urban setting, and you are in the box turtles range, you may see them if you're paying attention. If your property is large enough, you could create a hibernation site attractive to box turtles that may even turn into a regular winter home for the same turtle year after year. Here's how to create a den for box turtles in your yard. If you're lucky enough to have a tree fall down in an unmowed area of your yard, leave it right there with all its leaves and branches still attached. Allow more leaves to collect around the dead tree and the soil to become moist and rich. This will provide a fantastic natural hibernation area for turtles, and you didn't even have to do a thing. Do you have an abandoned animal den, like from a fox or a groundhog on your property? If so, allow the den to remain. As it fills up with leaves and other organic materials, it may become attractive to a box turtle happening by. If you don't have either of those, you can build a hibernation site for turtles. Choose a location on your property that has some loose, permeable soil. Thick tree roots, grass, or ground covering plants will prevent the turtles from being able to burrow under the soil. Start by laying down large sticks, crisscross style, directly on top of the ground. Continue adding branches from bushes and trees if possible with the leaves still attached. The bushier, the better. Arrange the branches and sticks randomly, don't stack them, so that there's some openness and airflow between them. Allow leaves and brush to accumulate in the nooks and crannies of the pile. Try to build the pile at least two feet high and four feet wide, although bigger is always better. Building more than one pile also increases the likelihood that turtles will find the pile that they prefer. If a turtle moves into your hibernation site, you'll probably be able to observe it basking on warmer, sunny days at the end of fall and in the spring. Box turtles will sometimes take a quick break from hibernation on winter days when the temperature is above 65 degrees and the sun is shining. If you see a turtle in your backyard, leave it alone and do not touch it. But if you do have to touch one for some reason, it's important to wash your hands with soap and water since turtles have the potential to carry salmonella. It's also a good idea to keep children and pets away from the hibernation site. If a turtle gets dug up or disturbed while hibernating, it might not survive the winter. You could put up fencing to keep out dogs and children. Just be sure that the fencing has plenty of space so that the turtles can come and go through openings in it. And don't be surprised when the same happy turtles return every year to their hibernation hideout.